And we are back on Big Board Sports as the U Albany men's lacrosse team continues to roll through the season. It is now eight straight for Scott Mars' team. It was a big week and a big win uh, at Stony Brook on Saturday to make that winning streak uh, balloon to eight. Good morning, Coach Marr. Hey, Roger. How you doing? We're good, Coach. Thanks for a few minutes and uh, t- what a terrific week. I mean, and when you go and beat the rival on the road, nineteen to eleven, another. Another game where you put a lot of uh, a lot of goals up with nineteen, give up eleven, but that's a that's a nice win at Stony Brook Rival School and and eight in a row. And I got you got, must be feeling awfully good. Yeah, it was no question a great week for us. Um, I was saying in, in my press release over the weekend, you know, we had uh, five games in two weeks. We had two midweek games over the last two weeks, so and four of them were on the road. So you know, we were at Crimson, uh, the Crimson and uh, Harvard on Wednesday, and uh, got a fifteen thirteen win there. And, and they they played tremendous. So it was a good good test for us. And and then to go back down to Long Island, uh, you know, basically turn around with about one or two days, maybe one and a half days of preparation for for Stony Brook, and uh, and to play well, you know, against against a rival like that, you know, it's always a game. You just never know what's going to happen. And uh, you know, I thought the boys had a lot of energy. We played, you know, just played extremely well offensively again. And and uh, you know, defensively, you know, second quarter eight nothing. We we shut them out, so it was uh, you know kind of separated the game for us. But uh, again, just a great effort by our guys, and just real proud of how we how we reacted to a little adversity in the first quarter. Scott, what sparked your team in that second quarter? Right? You you're right. You were up uh, f- only four three at the end of the first, and then mm-hmm. and then you outscore the Sea Wolves eight nothing in the second. What was what was the spark there? Yeah, I, I think it started with with obviously our faceoff kid. You know, TD's. I think he won eighty three percent on the day. I think he was twenty six of thirty, um, which is you know almost unheard of, uh, but just tremendous for him and just a, just a competitor. Um, but I think I think JD stepped up and had three or four saves. I think or five saves in that quarter as well. Um, and our defense really ramped up their pressure and, and didn't really allow Stony Brook any really great looks and. And also just sparked some of our transition. We got a couple of nice transition goals out of there. Um, you know, we had a man down goal actually, so um, that was a nice goal. But uh, you know, again, I, I think we just elevated our play a little bit in that second quarter, and, and everybody buckled down. And, and it started with our defense again. You know, to shut a team out in a quarter um, was great. But again, I think it sparked some of our goals at the other end and, and gave us some good life. So um, again, just overall great effort by our by our entire team. You know, everybody was into it, and, and we had a great crowd down there. Gosh, we have so many. People from Long Island that have played here at Albany, and, and and we have so many kids in our team that are from Long Island. So we had a great great support uh, from a lot of people down there. So that was a lot of fun. Hey, Scotty, Chris Sonorato here with Roger as well, and and this is not to diminish what previous faceoff guys uh, with this U Albany program have done in the past, mm-hmm. but considering what TD is able to do with that X, I mean, how big of an advantage is that for you? And and I guess. How much does that just kind of let you sit back and, and maybe relax a little bit to know that you guys are going to get many more possessions this year than, than you may have in the past? <laughs> well, first of all, it's never a relaxed point <laughs> in the game. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, is, it is no offense to any of the other guys in the past, but we've never had anything like this. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we really feel like we go out for every faceoff now and uh, and we're going to get the ball. Um, you know, the fact that, that he's just – He's just such a competitor. I mean, the kid, and, and he, he self-corrects during the game, and, and uh, you know, Coach Thompson really works with our, with our wing guys um, as well, and then, and then uh, Connor Russell is a graduate coach for, I mean, a, an undergraduate coach for us, uh, who's a former face-off guy, is working with TD. You know, he makes adjustments during the games. He's really, you know, he's got a high IQ for the position, and um, but he's an athletic kid, and, he, you know, he scored a goal again. Um, you know, and he just really, you know, he just goes out and competes, and 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 just having that, knowing that fact that he's going to go out and compete, and he's going to be athletic enough to to outrun people and to to scrap for ground balls. Um, you know, he had one in the Harvard game where the thing started at the faceoff action and ended up in our defensive end in the corner of the field where he still came up with the ball. Um, so that just shows how uh, how much heart he has and how much you know he's willing to to put out there for his team and his teammates. And uh, you know, it's just it's just great. You know, again, it's a great feeling having the ball that many times. I mean, again, we're you know we're scoring 17 goals a game, and, and it certainly uh, it has to do with the fact that we're getting that many possessions. Coach, next up, UMBC. You get him at home at John Fallon Field. What's the scouting report there? Yeah, um, they've played well actually. You know, new coach, uh, Coach Zimmerman retired after 25 years, and uh, you know Ryan Moran is the head coach. And it's kind of funny. I actually recruited Ryan and coached Ryan at the University of Maryland, so uh, you know it's going to be nice to see him come up here and. Um, but they've, he's done a nice job with them. They're playing real good defense. They're not giving up. Uh, you know, I think they're giving up around ten or ten or so goals a game, if that, maybe less. Um, you know, and and he's, he sparked some life into them. You know, they're a young team, so 
Um, we we got to take advantage of that. I think we need to jump on them, and if we can jump on them early and get some doubt in their heads, and you know, and and, and uh, continue to roll like we've been offensively. But uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a challenge again. Any you know, this is again UMBC, the Stony Brooks. You know, these are the guys that we've really been competing with for the you know since I've been here uh, as the top teams in the, con- in, the in our conference. So um, we have to be prepared, and we have to be again uh, you know give them respect and and be ready to play. Do you uh, worry about your team looking ahead to Maryland? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm hoping that they don't. You know, we, we've been we've doing a nice job, um, you know, all year of, of taking one game at a time. Um, you know, so it, 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 I think this will be no different. You know, we we know this is a huge conference game for us. I think this puts us in a position where we can start thinking about uh, home field advantage for the for the playoffs. So um, I think we'll, we'll get the point across to them how important it is and how much again we have to respect UMBC and. Again, if you look across the country in, in all different conferences right now, you know, um, you know, teams are beating teams that they're not supposed to be beating. So, uh, you know, you just really can't look, uh, you know, any past anybody. So, uh, you know, we'll be we'll be ready to play. Coach, always a pleasure. We uh, we thank you for a few minutes. Congrats on uh, two more wins, eight straight now, and you got it rolling. Uh, good luck against UMBC. Finally, uh, hit some home games now too. Yeah, four to the next five are home, <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> and, and and maybe perhaps a a stretch of nice weather. Yeah, that would yeah, that yeah, would be nice. That would be yeah. even better. You got it, Coach. Thanks again. Thanks, Scotty. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.